This program was made possible by USAID and AGRA, supported by MOFA. Good farming. There are a lot of challenges in farming, be it in the field of policy, agronomic practices, improved and certified seed, input use, and agric business services. All too soon, we have come to the end of the first season of Kiapa, the show that promotes good farming. Before you attempt to buy the first side, you must make sure you buy from. It's been interesting as we traveled across the length and breadth of this beautiful nation, Ghana. The Kriapa team looked at challenges facing farmers engaging in green food crops like cowpea, soybean, rice, maize, cassava and yam. Experts were brought in to help farmers adopt good agronomic practices such as the use of improved certified seeds, proper land preparation, prevention of post-harvest losses, and access to markets. This really helped them turn their farms into profitable and sustainable business ventures. Kriapa promoting good farming. It is the last episode of the season. Join the Kuyapa team on this journey as we revisit our farmers today to see how the knowledge gained from our expert has changed things for the better with their families and on their farms. Previously, we visited Sam Anenu and his family in the Volta region of Ghana. They are cultivating cassava and cowpea on 10 acres of land and there was a lot to fix on his farm. Everything! Whoa. Have some animals in there mm -hmm. still eating it up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's get some help from the expert. Definitely. Our expert, Ben Kemicher, introduced Anenu to improved certified cowpea seed called Songotra and was given an understanding on good agricultural practices when growing this cowpea. Then Monica came in to advise on how to prevent rodents from eating his cassava and introduced him to improved certified planting materials. A lot was done on this farm in particular. In fact, the Kiapa team decided to come back. Lucky, oh, Kiapa is here to see how you're doing. Well, we are doing good. good. I'm doing good with the family and then the food uh, stuff over there. Nice to hear that. Yeah. Prince is back again in Aveime, in the Volta region, to check on how Anenu is maintaining his farm. With my experience with uh, Kuyapa, last year I've harvested a lot of uh, cowpea and uh, I made some uh, good yield. Now, uh, because of that, uh, I have placed orders with the A and B people at home, and then I fill my store, my new store now with uh, 
the new improved seed, which I have started distributing to the local farmers within my area. And also, I have uh, already prepared my, my field, got my field ready to start sowing my improved seed. If my cassava, I have sold the old ones, I use them in the, to process gari and cassava dough. And I have planted a, a new one, which is now at about four feet high now. That's the close of this major season, I will start harvesting it. Some time ago, when you came to visit my farm, I have planted Chinese and uh, Yemuvi and Drobo cassava. And uh, you know, when M&B company, whom you've introduced to me, they sent me a new variety of cassava six, which is Sika and the Tech. I have planted them in my farm now. I'm trying to multiply them for the next season. Improvement with farmer Anenu from the use of uncertified cowpea seed, Agbapamei to the use of certified cowpea seed, Songotra, and now a distributor of improved certified cowpea seed in his community. And again, multiplying improved cassava planting materials, Sika and Tech Banche, and processing his cassava into Gari. Anenu is doing so well and we are happy at his progress. So when new people left over here, the local family usually come to ask me how far I have gone with the Kuyapa people. And I have also been giving them advice. And people consult me about the time I have to plant the, the seed. So they buy the seed and I tell them that they should even try to sow it now. Because I, they saw me sowing it. So they have also bought it and then they started sowing it. The Kuyapa team have travelled all over to find hard-working farmers, giving them the knowledge they need, improve their farms and to better their yield. Remember this hard-working woman called Gladys and her family. Gladys had told us how her rice yield had reduced. So the Kiapa team invited Joshua Ajotei from IFDC. After a quick inspection of her field, he advised that we visited another farmer close to Gladys so she could learn from him. Next stop was Bato in the Volta region to check on Gladys and her family. There was a remarkable improvement with Farmer Gladys's rice farms. The Anyoboti Rice and Vegetable Farmers Association, to which Gladys is the financial secretary, is farming over 90 acres of land with improved certified rice seed, Agra Rice. Their rice crops looked healthy. Vast improvement from when we first visited. Since I met Kriapa, they have done marvelous things to me by giving me the certified seed. Agra. I've done the transplanting and I could see that the yield that I've got her is better than the other seeds that we have been using. I've planted an acre of Agra rice. After harvesting, I've got 25 bags so far. And I'm appealing to all farmers to use certified improved seeds. We are happy they have adopted good agronomic practices. Kriapa promoting good farming. Next stop was Sekura in the Ashanta region of Ghana. The team is visiting some of the farms we have already fixed to see how they are getting on. Remember Pese Kaba, the youngest farmer in the Kriapa season 1 and his wife Aisha? They have some challenges. 
Ohamwomunese mi obi ami do baire na me baire yemu no aya na empono ne ye no ne pene ye din tama mintimi enye baire ndu do na mia aya na pam na me esisi no anu so asa ye problem no ama mintimi enye ndu do na ma ye wi ekura ne ton no aya na ye ohama minti ama mintimi enye mikasi me pa so how ka kra me o ofie ye me man ba hoko school ma kani ansu ni anti ofi school ba unya light in fence ya de Pisa adapted to the use of young minister technology after listening to the testimony on the technology from a farmer in his community, Mohammed. Aisha mentioned that her biggest problem for her children was electricity. The team surprised her with a solar lamp on our second visit. Brings us back to see how Pisa and his family are doing. Indeed, Aisha's worries were resolved with a solar lamp. Her last born was busy with his homework when we visited. The team had fun and was glad to share the family experiences as they made changes. We are back visiting our farmers to see how their farms have improved. In this season, Kuyapa worked with different maize farmers on diverse topics such as preventing post-harvest losses with Martha Bruckner and the Ensunyameye Women's Group. We met farmer Afena who was accessing credit for his maize outgrowers in the Brongahafa region to be able to feed his processing center. Sa and Chetria mean a free queer path for Hono, a Buamepa, a ma, my Timmy, a chre, a man for Sopan, every fast was Aunt Chetrium, the Vieguma. The Dona Swatia say, Bosomi and Sanchi, I be as our program way, queer path for Betcher Chess, ah, Nimdeweno. A ma, Nami will queer food do. Say, say, do do a beckon home. A man for so, a hair, ye show no TV sonno, a more fresh fresh, some more pet in Chemu. Be brave, so I basse. Young church room, no ram, a gen, a monte, a coolness of your baby. In fact, a yet, papa, papa, papa. Now, me name is a fear, be simon, dear. A nipper be do do anan a bebum. And in tea, sa concept win and cassa, we are puff one church, papa, we know. A dear juma, never boy a pass. Our next stop was in Yame Betray in the Ashanti region of Ghana. We are here to check on Farmer Ladi, who was introduced to Mamaba hybrid seed, which has been produced close to her community by our expert. Together with our expert, we show her the recommended plant spacing for maize. Another challenge was that Ladi and other farmers in her community were facing rosette groundnut disease. She was advised on how to prevent this disease. However, there was so much to be done and so the Kiapa team decided to come back with our expert from crop research, Dr. Esibu, and check how her groundnuts are looking this planting season. First of all, I'm going to tell you how you grow. 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 I'm a doctor, a friend of doctor, not a doctor, and super friend, but I'm a friend of mine. I'm a friend of mine, and I'm a friend of mine. And I'm a friend of mine. 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 Lari is doing so well and we are happy at her achievement. The 
Kuyapa Crew helps to create awareness of improved agricultural technologies among smallholder farmers with the aim of enhancing adoption of best practices and increasing smallholder productivity and providing them with practical advice on all aspects of field crop production and post-harvest handling. Farming can be difficult. Sometimes you have no water and other times you have so much of it. Your crops could fail and soon enough, you won't have enough to feed your own family, not to talk of feeding the whole nation. That is why as a farmer, you need some expert advice in order to increase your yield. And, and that's, that's what, what you get, get with, with Kuyapa. The goal project is to promote food security and income among smallholder farmers by increasing the adoption of quality seeds of improved varieties and complementary technologies. Contact our call center on 0577-665186. You can visit our website www.queapagana.com and like our page on Facebook, Queapa Ghana. program was made possible by USAID and AGRA, supported by MOFA.